Right, good evening. I want to welcome you all to the council chambers and call to order the meeting of the Common Council for Tuesday, March 20th. If you could all press your I and confirm. 11 are present, Your Honor. All right. Obviously have enough. We have a quorum. So let's continue. If you'd all now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and then remain standing for the invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, as we enter the new season of spring today, a season of hopefully warmer weather and more sunshine, let us as city leaders use this season to bring warmth and sunshine to our neighbors and to the greater Green Bay community. Every day is a new day filled with hope and great rewards for those who believe. Let us as community leaders be a source of hope and rewards for all the people of Green Bay. And during this spring season, we also pray for the many college students who will be traveling. We take great comfort in the college students who use their well-deserved spring break to do good works throughout the world, as in working with the homeless, the underprivileged, rebuilding homes, and ministering to the less fortunate. Bless these students for their good deeds and compassion. As always, we ask for your continued blessing on those who serve in the military, especially those serving on the USS Green Bay. We ask this in your name. Amen. All right, with that, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the March 6th meeting. There's a motion by Alderman Nicholson and seconded by uh, Alderman Seattle. Anything you want to change or correct here? Seeing no lights, all in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nay, the ayes have it, and the minutes of the March 6th meeting have been approved. We're now on to approval of the agenda. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Tom DeWayne, second by Alderman Dave Nenning. Uh, for approval of the agenda, I think you want to move here. See no lights. Uh, all in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nays, the ayes have it, and the agenda before you has been approved. Report by the mayor. Um, I just really have a, a one thing. I just want to thank all of you, and, and especially Tim O'Connor and Teresa Sinclair, uh, for the effort on St. Patrick's Day. I mean, we had. I don't know that we counted, but uh, we had a couple thousand people downtown, and uh, it just everything went great. The Notre Dame band, I want to thank them, the Irish dancers, um, all, all the people who, who made that a very, uh, of course, St. Brendan's, uh, just a very fa friendly family event all day. And you know, the music went till midnight, but it started at 11, and I saw some of you there, and I just, uh, it's the volunteers that made that happen. I just thought that was a great event. Uh, that would conclude my report. We're on to announcements. We'll begin with Alderman Nicholson. Thank you, Mayor. It's, it's basically a request with the Mayor's Office and City Council. In the future, when we have major projects, what I would like to see if, if I'm elected would be more transparency so we can have better communication and we can all work together in harmony it's teamwork, but that's that's what I'm requesting. Right. Thank, Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Zima, announcements. Uh, thank you, Hunter. I I would just uh, I think it's time for a, a little lightening up. I uh, found a newspaper article today. Uh, Green Bay Press Gazette, Sunday, August sixth, nineteen seventy eight. And you think things change, but they're all the same all over again. But it says, why the rift between mayor and councilman? This, of course, is a predecessor. Uh, it says, Green Bay City Council meetings of late have been getting wilder and woollier. They've always been a place where heated debate is carried out. Aldermen have always sniped at one another and the mayor or at department heads. Gee. What's the date there, Alderman Zimmer? That sounds pretty current. <laughs> I, um, this is a lot of fun, believe me. Uh, August 6, 1978. And it goes on, I can't read the whole article. There's a picture of uh, Mayor Monfiles with the 
counsel in his head up here. I'll get a copy for anybody who wants one. But anyway, it goes on and says, the Press Gazette asked an alderman about, about this. Their answers cited differences in political philosophy, lack of communication, bad public relations, differences in style, possible circumvention of aldermen, keeping them in the dark on some issues, the mayor speaking down to the council, the mayor putting up candidates against some of the others, uh, lack of council leadership, aldermen not doing their homework, personality conflicts, and of course, politics. And just a couple of the quotes, uh, the council president at that time was a guy named Dave Demro, <coughs> and he said, on improving communications with the aldermen, the mayor has to take the initiative. Okay, and it said, uh, then Sam Hallowen was on the council at that time, and he agreed that things could run more smoothly, but he said it's not a simple thing to solve. There's conflict at times on some issues because of a tendency to bring them up at the last minute. Boy, where have we ever heard that? Uh, in some cases, the fault lies with the aldermen not doing their homework. This is understandable at times because of their increasing workload. Then uh, it says, uh, things at time could be handled better administratively, he said. Um, in some cases, the media has blown things out of proportion and added to the problem. God, I don't think that could ever happen. Um, and of course, communications have not been good. Halloween concluded. Lou Marchetti, who recently passed away, said it's difficult to receive something on Saturday and make a decision on Tuesday. Sound familiar? <coughs> Marchetti said about the practice of informing aldermen about business on the weekend prior to the council meeting. Others have told him, Marchetti said, that the mayor doesn't let aldermen know the issues far enough in advance. They say he wants to do everything by himself. A part of the problem stems from Monfile's cracks at the council. He should be bigger than to respond, his friend Al Blazer said. And it goes on, uh, one alderman told me, if you don't read the paper, you don't know what's going on in City Hall. Maybe he's got a point. Well, that's when they used to have a paper. That's when there used to be a real paper where an article actually took up a full page. Um, Rosemary Hinkfus, and we have a candidate from that family running, uh, she's recently passed also, uh, brought in ego. She agrees that many politicians may be motivated by their egos. Well, uh, the record might say that some vote to embarrass the mayor, but I really can't believe anyone would do that. Maybe it's just a difference of philosophies. I've been thinking about this for three full days and I still don't understand it. Anyway, it was an interesting article, Your Honor. That it and, uh, is. I thought, gee, uh, things do change, but it, it does uh, kind of mention that they think debate and argument and turmoil sometimes are, are part of what goes into decision making. But if anybody would like a copy, I'll get one for them. Thank you. Thank you. That was 40 years ago. Great. <laughs> we'll continue. We'll continue. All right, clerk. The next Common Council meeting will be on Monday, April 2nd, due to the spring election on Tuesday, April 3rd. Absentee voting is available in the clerk's office through Friday, March 30th at 5 p.m. and requests through the mail until Thursday, March 29th at 5 p.m. Right. Thank you. Let's start it already. Start. Yep. Okay. Hey, Chris. We're on to appointments, new appointments. Sex Offender Residency Board, Ed Dorf. Downtown Bid Board, Chip Smoot, Jesse Watruba. On Broadway Bid Board, Brett Weicker, Dr. Kurt Schwischsau, and Greg Maddock. Old Main Street Bid Board, Tiona Petrosky. All right, so there's a motion by Alderman Nicholson, second by Alderman Tom Slotik for the uh, approval of the new appointments. Alderperson Dorf. I would just like to abstain from the um, Sex Offender Residency Board for, because Ed Dorf is on as an alternate. All right, thank you. 
All right, we have a motion and a second for approval. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And those opposed, nays. Ayes have it. The new appointments have been approved. Reappointments, Ethics Board, Patricia Kiewiz, Mark Olson, Green Bay Room Tax Commission, Larry Vesley, Brown County Plan Commission, Dottie Jungst, Philip Hilgenberg, Green Bay Plan Commission, Timothy Gilbert, and Sydney Bremer, Transit Commission, Emily Yezbart, and Rashad Cobb, Downtown Business Improvement District Board is Warren Winesek. Right, there's a motion by Alderman uh, Tom DeWine, second by Alderman Joe Moore for approval of the reappointments. Discussion here. See no lights, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nay. Ayes have it, and the reappointments have been approved. Thank you for both the new appointments and reappointments. We're on to referral of petitions and communications. On page one of your packet, you have all petitions and communications received by the clerk's office by noon on Thursday. We will now accept any late communications you may have. We'll begin with Alderman Mark Stoyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I have two for the Traffic, Bicycle, and Pedestrian Committee. First one is to implement a flashing LED edge list stop sign on Mather Street at Locust Street due to concerns for safety and traffic flow. Second one is to study times at the new Clement Avenue turning west on the University Avenue and at the east outlet of Festival Foods and Riviera Lanes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Joe Moore. Thanks, Your Honor. I've got one for traffic, bicycle, and pedestrian as well. Uh, it's to establish designated loading zones and delivery hours for downtown businesses uh, while seeking input from Downtown Green Bay, Inc. and the local business owners. All right. Thank you. <coughs> Alderman. Okay. Chris, do you have any late communications? Yes, I do. Improvement for, this is for Improvement and Service Committee applications for concrete sidewalk builders licenses by the following. Allied Concrete Construction, Apple Valley Concrete Construction, Delhau Custom Concrete, and KPC Concrete Contractors, and an application for a tree and brush trimmer license by Andy Kays. All right, thank you. Got another light here. Um, Alderman Chris Weary. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have one for parks. Create a connector path between the West Side Trail and the dead end of San Jose Place. Thanks. All right, thank you. Alderman Guy Zima. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I have one for the Traffic uh, Commission uh, <coughs> requesting a review of uh, a stop sign at South Norwood and Victory Boulevard. All right, thank you. All right, see no other lights. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to refer all oh, petitions. Sure. There's a motion by Alderman Scannell, second by Alderman Mark Stoyer to refer all uh, petitions and communications. Uh, all in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nays, the ayes have it. The petitions and communications have been re referred to the proper departments. We're on to reports for council action. Report of the Redevelopment Authority. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Nicholson, second by Alderperson Dorf, to approve the report of the Redevelopment Authority for the meeting held on Tuesday, March 13th. Informational meeting. Um, all in favor of this report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nays, the ayes have it. That report's been approved. Report of the Plan Commission. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Scannell, second by Alderman Weary, to approve the report of the Green Bay Plan Commission for the meeting held on Monday, March 12th. Are there any items in this report you wish to handle separately? See no lights. All in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nays, the ayes have it, and that report has been approved. Report of the Historic Preservation Con Commission. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Scannell, second by Alderman Galvin, to approve the report of the Historic Preservation Commission for the meeting held on Monday, March 12th. Any discussion here? Well, it's the only item, so go ahead. Alderman Stoyer? Yes, thank you. Do we have to approve or just move ahead? There's a... All right. Okay. Um, There's a motion and a second to approve this. All right. I just want to speak to it. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, I would like to um, talk about this just briefly. Uh, you're, you're familiar with uh, the packet and some of the information on the historic district that we have put together as well as the Divine Temple and the Whitney School. And uh, I've been talking for quite a while on this type of thing, and I'm, I think we have a paradigm shift going on in Green Bay right now where we're looking at historic preservation as an economic
development tool and also is just a, a positive for the city. So uh, we got Sharon Harper here. She's here for, uh, you know, very much with the Divine Temple and locally our historic Preservation Commission will work with you and the other groups to get our local designation plaques up. And I just wanted to uh, tell the council and the new council that will be coming in to um, be aware that we will be talking more about this in the future as we strive to get an ordinance on the books. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, so we have a motion and a second to approve this item. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And those opposed, nays, ayes have it. And that report has been approved. Report of the Finance Committee. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Scal, second by Alderman Joe Moore to approve the report of the Finance Committee. That was for the meeting held on Tuesday, March 13th. Any items in this report you wish to handle separately? Hearing none, all in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nays, ayes have it. That report's been approved. Report of the Improvement and Service Committee. All right, we have a motion by Alderman Scannell, second by the person Dorf, to approve the report of the Improvement and Service Committee for the meeting held on March 14th. Are there any items in this report you wish to handle separately? Hearing none, all in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nay, as ayes have it, that report's been approved. Report of the Park Committee. All right, we have a motion by Alderman Scannell, second by Alderman Galvin, to approve the report of the Park Committee for the meeting held on Wednesday, March 14th. Any items under this report you wish to handle separately? Hearing none, all in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed nays, ayes have it, that report's been approved. Report of the Personnel Committee. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Scannell. Second by Alderman uh, Tom Slotick to approve the report of the Personnel Committee. That was for the meeting held on Tuesday, March 13th. Are there any items in this report you wish to handle separately? Hearing none, all in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nays, ayes have it. That report's been approved. Report of the Protection and Welfare Committee. Second. All right, there's a motion by Alderperson Dorf. Second. Second by Alderman Scannell to approve the report of the Protection and Welfare Committee for the meeting held on Monday, March 12th. Uh, any items in this report you wish to handle separately? Abstain from frequency. Hearing none others, all in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed nays, ayes have it, noting the abstention of Alderman Moore on item three. Report of the Protection and Welfare Committee granting operator licenses. Second. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Scannell, second by uh, Alderman Tom DeWayne to approve the report of the uh, protecting, uh, Protection and Welfare granting operating licenses. Are there any names in this report you wish to handle separately or abstain from? All right, seeing no lights, all in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed nays, ayes have it, and the operating licenses have been granted. Receive in place and file building permit report for February 2018 and municipal court report for February 2018. All right. All right, we have a, a motion by Alderman Tom Slotick, seconded by Alderman Tom DeWayne, uh, to receive in place and file the two reports stated by the clerk. Any discussion here? Seeing no lights, all in favor of that report, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed nays, ayes have it. Those reports have been received and placed on file. We're on to resolutions. You may under suspension of the rules adopt resolutions 11 through 24 together with one roll call vote. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Scannell, second by Alderman Nicholson to, this, to suspend the rules for that purpose. All in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed nays, ayes have it. And the rules are suspended. Motion to adopt by Alderman Joe Moore, seconded by Alderman Bill Galvin. If you please use the board on this, we're taking. Um, 11 through 24. All right, and those passed unanimously. Thank you. We're on to ordinances. First reading, you may enter suspension of the rules, advance ordinances 25 and 26 to a third reading. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Scannell. Seconded by Alderman uh, Tom Slotick to suspend the rules for that purpose. All in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, nays. Ayes have it. The rules are suspended. Advance. Motion to advance by Alderman Slotick, seconded by Alderman uh, Moore. All in favor of advancement, please signify by saying aye. aye. And those opposed, nays. Ayes have it. Um, that was awesome. We should write a new article. <laughs> I, I just want to remind you how important this next finance 
committee meeting is. Um, some of you have been in my office. I would just encourage you to go. I mean, we're going to be sitting here uh, on, on April 2nd debating that, but that's the bonding, and there's just a lot of asks, and I'm still discerning some things, but when is that? I, when is finance? It's next Tuesday, a week from today at 5 o'clock. Okay, so I would just look, and everything comes here eventually, but if that's going to be a really working meeting, I think it would be great to have some input or talk to someone on the Finance Committee or, or call me. Um, but with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn by Alderman Sladek, second by Alderman Scannell. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And those opposed, nay. All right, we're adjourned. <laughs> I want a copy of that. I mean, that's awesome. 40 years.